hello everyone in this video i will tell you how you can send approvals with attachment by connecting to file data type columns in dataverse so let us create a flow and let us design and let us give a name approvals with attachment from dataverse uh, and uh, which is connecting to file column so define the name in a proper way so that it will be properly identified then in the flow trigger you define the dataverse choose when a row is added or modified and once the designer will open choose the change type is added so not added modified whenever a a, a field value is modified we want to run this uh, uh, trigger we want to run this flow that's why define a change type is modified if you want to uh, define anything else you can define anything else in change type according to your business need so choose the table type with students because uh, whenever a student table field student table record field changes i want to trigger this and if it is modified you have to define the which column modified uh, which column modification you want to trigger this uh, power automate so my column name is fbs underscore address this is the logical name of the column so on change of this address field i want to trigger this uh, power automate and now next thing is you can rename this if you want we'll say send approval when address is modified or updated next we want to search approvals so before approvals we have to connect uh, we have to download the uh, content from the file data type right from the file column so take dataverse connector and search microsoft dataverse and choose a step called as download a file or an image now choose table name as student and row id provide the student id which is available in the previous step and column name choose passport i have taken a file data type column called as pass photo and rename this as uh, download the pass photo now this step will contain the downloaded file and now this downloaded file can be used as a uh, attachment in the approval email so search approvals you would start and wait for an approval and choose the approval type either you know everyone must approve or, or first first to respond and give her some title let's say title is approvals uh, then change address pass photo approval now this will be the title of the uh, approval email that will be sent to the approvers and in the sm2 you can uh, define multiple users to send email because you can define multiple users as approvers so now i am defining here two users to whom the approvals will be sent you can provide details here if you want to mention some details about the record that you want to mention on the approval email then you can mention here otherwise you can keep it blank because it is optional details item link and item link description are optional so it's not mandatory to provide value but let me choose details as uh, approval request for the pass photo and i'm keeping item link and item link description as blank now here i want to add the attachment so let me define the attachment name as the student name dynamically because the student name is available with me in the first step so search so student name and uh, i want to specify the attachment uh, uh, extension as dot png if it is pdf you can use pdf if it is cpg you can use cpg but as such there is no uh, for loop to add multiple attachments to the thing and in the attachment content associate the file uh, content that is from the previous step now it will automatically attach the content that is available in the pass photo in the approval email so let me test this how it works i will go to the you can check the run status of this uh, power automate navigating to the details uh, section 
So let me go to the application or the model design app to change something on a on an existing student. So that this uh, power of metal trigger. So let me go to the environment and open the power of power apps. So this is the power apps where I have student entity enabled. Now, if I'll open any student and uh, try to edit something, not something, when I will try to edit the address of the student, first let us associate a pass photo for the student. So click on choose file and associate a PNG file. I want to associate a PNG file uh, so that I can attach that. So this is the PNG file and the passport is uploaded. Now let me update the address here. And the update address is let's say Kolkata. And once it is updated, you can click on save. So which will trigger the modification, the update operation. And once the update operation is done, it will try to trigger the power automate. And you see the instance is initiated, which will try to uh, send an approval email to the authority or authorities or approvers, multiple approvers in email. Now it is still running status because the approval status is waiting after sending the email. If I will go to the Outlook, I can check the approval as I have received or not. So I am going to go into the Outlook. In the Outlook, I can check the approval email that is received. It, it normally takes some couple of seconds, so let us wait and refresh it. So after a couple of seconds, you will receive the uh, approval email. Now you can see this is the email that is received, which is uh, a subject is approval, change the address, pass photo, approval request, and there is the attachment here, the pass photo which is attached to this email is attached here. So any approval email that you are initiating that will send an email with attachment and that is connected to a file data type i hope you understand how file data type works and how you can download the file content and attach as an attachment in the approval email thank you everyone for watching this video see you guys